This is Chadwick's Recycling Company situated at the bottom of Oakham Bottom Road uh, on Leedium Park. Uh, local residents have been complaining about this site for quite a few years now, um, complaining about the smell from the site, that the rubbish remains on site for more than seven days, the height of the rubbish on site. Now these are all violations but nothing ever seems to get done. Now we start the video at the right hand side, um, the path leading up to um, Chadwick's, you have your usual fly tipping onto the site, a lot of rubbish does get dumped before Chadwick's into the river and this is quite common. Now this is the barrier for Chadwick's and it's very difficult for anybody to get around the side, however I've done so. Um, on the side you can already see the rubbish building up, now this could easily have been washed up. Uh, looking at the site the condition of the barrier is not fit for purpose. This is the rubbish overhanging from the site which is a common site to be honest. That's obviously a rubbish bin which has fallen out of the site along with just countless other rubbish that is overhanging or has fallen out of the site. Originally now that piece used to hang over the side and that's been ripped back back to the rubbish bin which was there originally. Now a separate issue for the environmental agency is raw sewage which appears to have been washed up on the side. It has nothing to do with Chadwick's, it's a separate issue entirely. But still raw sewage shouldn't be there. Yet again, barrier not fit for purpose and it should have been torn down and rebuilt by now. Which I'll come to a matter of it later. Yet again rubbish overhanging from the sides. Rubbish falling out from the sides presume it's fallen out based on the condition it does appear to have come out of the site and based on the past history yet again barrier not fit for purpose and the rubbish is too high and yet again he's only allowed to keep the rubbish on site for seven days before it has to be moved and we can see a build up of rubbish which I can't say if it has come from Chadwick's but the sheer amount of waste that is situated um, downstream from Chadwick's is phenomenal. What usually happens is that when you have a heavy rain it all gets washed away um, so what has built up and fallen out from Chadwick's over time is pushed down to Levian Park and I'm sure many people recognise this area where they take the kids in the summer people regularly let the dogs play in that water um, you just need to be aware of what's actually inside that water which is steel, glass, everything you can possibly think of as you can see where the river's actually risen quite a few feet and it's left behind uh, the residue now these items might have nothing to do with Chadwick's, they might have been there for quite a while. I can't say for certain. But this is the kind of rubbish that you're going to find in Leaving Park and continue to be found. So that's Pebble Beach, which is a frequent area used by dog walkers. Now you need to bear in mind how much rubbish has been falling over. So if we look in the past, this is from January the 6th, 2015. That was what the site looked like with the rubbish, yet again falling all over the sides. The barrier not fit for purpose. This was the site in, I believe it was February, 23rd of February. Yet again, rubbish falling all over the sides. Uh, the council are fully aware of this site and yet it appear to have done nothing about it. Um, I actually spoke to the environmental agency. Uh, Phil Gibbon who assured me that by the end of this year the barrier would have been torn down and rebuilt. Now nothing's happened of course but if you want to speak to um, Bolton Council's cabinet member for the environment, Councillor Nick Peel, and ask him why nothing's been done about this site and why for year after year it's allowed to uh, completely ignore um, the site regulations and if you'd also want to send an email to the environment agency and ask them why they've done nothing about this site please feel to do so um, if you don't send an email if nobody does anything about this we're just going to have this problem year after year um, and it's only going to get worse